Welcome back. This is the very first video I want to um, do on the um, topic of alkanes. And we're going to learn how to write structures first because that's very, very foundational. And um, while it's not very tedious, it's also very important that you learn it. And um, once we learn how to draw structures, then we can start to name them, okay? That seems to be more logical. And um, so the general formula for an alkane is Cn H2N plus two. Now what does this stand for? Now alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes, they're all part of the larger family of hydrocarbons, okay? Now, alkane is a saturated hydrocarbon. What do we mean by saturated? Saturated means there is no double bond between carbon and hydrogen. There could be a double bond in the molecule but hydrocarbon itself really means that there is only single bond between carbon and hydrogen, okay? There, like I said, there could be a double bond between carbon and something else, but there should not be a double bond between carbon and hydrogen. And for that matter, there should be no triple bond between carbon and hydrogen, okay? So an alkane is part of a saturated hydrocarbon family. Saturated means absence of double or triple bonds. Okay, now alkanes have a general formula of CnH2n plus two. You see I put the two n plus two within brackets. And n corresponds to the number of carbon atoms. Okay, so what if I have three? That means I do multiply by three plus two, which means I have my alkane compound is C3H8. What if I have five carbon alkanes? That means it's two times five plus two, which would be C5H12. Now, if you notice, if you, if you construct structures for this, then you would see that, that there, is, there cannot be any way that you can have a double bond, okay? And let's start constructing structure for a simpler compound like this one right here, okay? Now, how do we do it? Well, first thing what you gotta do is learn to draw freehand structures before we can go to line structures, okay? We got three carbons, right? Draw each carbon connected by a bond, okay? And leave two bonds on either side, okay? Now, carbon is a very unique compound, any unique element in that wherever carbon is, it must contain only four bonds. I'm gonna say must contain four bonds. That is, it cannot contain three bonds, it cannot contain two bonds, it cannot contain five bonds. So to draw the structure for this, first draw carbon in a sequence, okay? Leave one bond outside, one bond on outside on either side. Now people also refer this as catenation. Catenation means long chain, okay? Imagine a train. Now, as I said here, a carbon must contain four bonds, right? So draw one above, anywhere you see, draw one above and one below. There we go. Now hydrogen can have only one bond that can, that can bond to a, a carbon. Now if you count, how many hydrogens do we have? Eight, so start putting hydrogens wherever you see a bond. And that's just that simple. 
Now, once you draw this, you can also concisely write it. I'm gonna choose a different color, maybe black. This can also be written as CH3 bond CH2 bond CH3. Let's take a moment and understand this. This is the concise structure. This is the more expanded structure, okay? Initially, you may wanna start learning this, then you can learn this, and then we can draw line structures. So the first, you know, a greater portion of the course is learning to draw structure, naming compounds, you know, writing isomers and stuff like that, because this is not something that can be taught every time a new topic is taught, because this is like you learning your car once, okay? You may rent a car anywhere when you're traveling. The person's not gonna teach you how to drive a car every time. You learn how to drive a car once and you take that knowledge and keep that as a foundation and you just go on about your life, renting cars anywhere, drive a friend's car, drive your dad's car, mom's car. They don't always teach you every time how to drive. So this is kind of that deal, okay? So you see that there are no double bonds between any of the carbon and hydrogens, right? So that's how you draw a structure. Now, this is very simple because you cannot really have what is called an isomer, okay? What is an isomer, okay? Same formulae, but different structures. So, I'm gonna stop the video here, and then when I come back, I'm gonna explain the concept of isomer in context of this compound and see how we can draw a lot of different structures, even for, I think starting four carbons is when you can expect isomers, all right? So I'm gonna stop the video here. This will give you a decent introduction into the hydrocarbon family, particularly saturated hydrocarbons. All right, so stay tuned for my video on isomers.